I'm Mr. Mswanda. I'm here to present to you a lesson in business studies. In particular, we'll be looking at bookkeeping. And that part of the bookkeeping that I'm going to look at is purchases journal, purchases journal, or the other name is purchases daybook. Um, as you know, this topic comes in section C of business studies grade nine, and it's regularly examinable, and it carries about ten marks. It carries about ten marks. Here is the lesson in detail. For the topic, purchases journal, purchases journal. We said the other name should be purchases day book, purchases day book, purchases day book. So you can use any of these two, they are both the same, they mean the same. So as I said, it is examinable in section C of the business studies paper. Marks allocated are 10 marks. So it's very ideal for you to attempt this particular question on journals in section C so that you can get that particular 10 marks allocated to this particular question. Definition, we need to define the basis journal. Basis journal is a book of primary entry a book of original entry or a subsidiary book that is used to record all credit purchases, all credit purchases. As you know, cash purchases are recorded in the cash book, word of credit purchases. So all credit purchases are recorded in the book known as purchases day book, purchases day book. So this one is a, a book of primary entry. Other people use the word original entry. Original entry. Others will say a subsidiary book for all credit purchases. All credit purchases. The keyword prime. Prime means First entry. Prime means first entry. So all the, the credit purchases are first recorded in a book known as purchases day book or purchases journal before they are posted to any other uh, ledger or any other entries. So we start school with prime. I want I'm saying you the first uh, the first place where you start school is primary. So for the, the first book where you credit purchases is also called the prime the pieces day book. Now, how do we make entries in this book? How do we make entries in, book, in this book? Entries in this book are made in the, in, in the following manner. Record all credit purchases. Record all credit purchases in date order. Date order. Record all credit purchases in date order. Okay? So once you have made all the entries in this book, the book must be totaled up. You total this book. Total the book to arrive at what we call as total credit purchases. Total credit purchases. Total the book to arrive at Total credit purchases. Total credit purchases. That's the total. Now this total must be transferred to the general ledger. This total must be transferred to the general ledger in an account called purchases account. In an account called purchases account. This account must be debited because it is receiving the goods. This account must be Debited because it is receiving goods. We buy goods, so the account is receiving 
quotes. So it's debit the receiver. The total of this book, the total of this book is transferred. Transferred to the general ledger. General ledger. Okay? And is posted, as I, as I said, in an account known as purchases account. And this account must be debited. In an account known as known as purchases account. Purchases account. So this account must be debited. This account must be debited. Why? Because it is receiving goods. For receiving goods. Okay. So that is how we deal with the total. The total must go to the pieces account in an account I mean, I mean in, in, on the debit side because it is receiving goods what of the names the individual entries that are in this book the personal accounts where do they go so the individual personal accounts go to the purchases ledger the individual personal accounts should go to the purchases ledger now since these are creditors they must all be credited for giving away goods they did not even receive any money at all. So they will go to the purchase ledger. And all the names will be credited because they supplied goods without even giving, I mean, collecting any money at all. So allow me to clean up the board. So I put down that point. The, the individual personal accounts. Individual personal accounts, that's abbreviation for person for accounts, personal accounts are posted to the purchases ledger. Purchases ledger. The other name is creditors ledger. We are dealing with creditors, so it must be creditors ledger. I put in brackets, creditors ledger. And I said all these individual personal accounts are supposed to be credited for giving away goods. Credited for giving away goods. So these accounts are all credited. They are all credited for giving away goods. For giving away goods. Goods. Definitely it's credit the giver. That, that's a good uh, rule of bookkeeping. Credit the giver. So these are the few points that must be used when preparing the PESIS journal. These are, are the few points that are supposed to be used when preparing the PESIS journal. So allow me now to give you an example. Example 1. It goes this way. From the following, from the following, Details from the following details prepare prepare the purchases journal of K Kabwe. 
for the month of for the month of March twenty nineteen. Okay, month of March twenty nineteen. So the example is as follows. We have the year. The month. Okay. And the first transaction reads as follows. March 1st. Bought. Goods. Bought goods. Bought goods. From Zulu. This is our abbreviation. There are so many Zulus. So from Zulu A. Okay. 10 boxes of nails. At five hundred kwacha each. Fill the board. Continue. Okay. Example continues. Two. Packets of cement, so rather pockets, pockets of cement at eighty quarter each, eight quarter each. And all of them, all subject, all are subjected to, subjected to 10% trade discount. 10% trade discount. The next transaction is March. Third, March third, bought the following, bought the following from PC Mwenya, PC Mwenya. So we bought three rates capital at fifty kwacha each, fifty kwacha each, four boxes of Four boxes of nails at hundred kwacha. Hundred kwacha. All subject to all subject to twenty percent trade discount. 20% trade discount. 20% trade discount. The next transaction is. I hope you are following. The next transaction is on the 6th of March. March 6th. It's the next transaction. It goes like this. Received. An invoice received an invoice 
from Frank Hood. Frank Hood. As you know, Frank Hood is the, one of the best writers of books of accounting. Unfortunately, he's the late. And uh, we still remember him because his book is still available. We are still using it. And it's one of my favorite book. So what did we buy from Frank Hood? We bought the following. Ten packets. Ten packets of sugar at 400 10 bags of sugar 400 on the the next item that we bought from Frank Hood is six boxes six boxes of Match sticks. Match sticks at twenty quarter each. Twenty quarter each. So those all of them are subjected to a two and a half percent trade discount. 200% rate discount or subject to 200% trade discount. 200% trade discount. Okay, trade discount. So that marks the end of our transactions. So these are the transactions that we are going to deal with today to make entries in our purchases channel. I hope you have already done the copying of the transactions so that we go to the next stage, that of preparing this book. It is a very simple book to prepare. All you need is uh, your calculator, your writing paper, and your pay ready. So how does it look like? It look like this. Okay, who drew it? Because this way, remember the first column is always the date column. So we go it this way. Okay, okay. Then we have that column drawn. Make sure you use the ruler. I'm using freehand, but for you, it's a rule. So that column, okay, another column, don't worry, we'll give them names, we'll give them the, the, the names, each column has its own name, so we'll do that. Okay, and the last column now, it goes, okay, that's the last column. We now make that we cut like that, leaving space on top. Why to write the name and the title? Okay. Okay. That is how it looks like. Now we need to label it up. We need to label it up. First column, date column. You can help me. The next column, details. Details column. Then the next column should be called invoice number. Invoice number column. Invoice number column. The next should be subtitle. Sub. Subtotal. Sorry, not subtitle. Subtotal. Then the last one should be totals. 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 Then. We now give it a title. The title must have the name of the owner of the business. In this case, we said Cowboy. So this is supposed to be Cowboy.
Kawe. Other people will be saying Kawe. I know them. It's supposed to be Kawe. Kawe's purchases Janu. Purchases Janu. In capital letters. And that particular title will give you half a mark. That particular title will give you half a mark in the final exam. So we can't get a zero in, in bookkeeping or in business studies now. It's not possible. So we put now the year 2019, the month, March, and we go to the transactions. So the first transactions, the first transaction took place on the first. We say first, we write one here. Then we copy the title, the person that we bought this good from. So it says, bought the following from Zulu. So get Zulu in capital letters. We say Zulu A. There are so many Zulus, so we underline up there. In capital letters. Then we now uh, summarize the, the transactions uh, uh, in short form. So we don't copy the whole sentence and put in the details column. So what did we buy? We bought 10 boxes. Okay, 10 boxes of nails, 10 boxes of nails, so these were at 500 kwacha each, 500 kwacha each, the key weight is each, we need to multiply, so 10 times 5, we get our 5,000 in here in the subtotal scholar. We get our 5,000 questions in the subtotal scholar. Okay? The next item that we bought from the same gentleman two po pockets of cement, two pockets of cement. Okay? These were at 80 kwacha each, 80 kwacha each. Keyword again is each. So one was costing 80 kwacha and we bought two pockets. So we expect to have 160, 160 kwacha. That's the end of the items that we bought. So we now need to get our total. So we're getting 5,160. 5,160 and all of these were subjected to 10% trade discount so in the next line next line you follow it like, like this you say less 10% trade discount TD here means trade discount 10% trade discount so we get our 10% of that total which is there our 10% you get use a calculator Use a calculator. So 10% of that will give us 516. 516. That's the trade discount. Now we need to remove the trade discount because we cannot pay 5160 or 5160 quarter now. The price was reduced by 10%. So let's reduce it. We do that. When you put in brackets, it means you are subtracting or deducting. It means you are subtracting. So, we subtract, we have our 4 here, then we have our 5 minus 1 is 4, we have our 11 here, minus that is 6, and then a 4, 46, 44. Please go through if you have a calculator with you, okay? So that's what we're going to pay after a trade discount of 516 kwacha, okay? 516 kwacha. So we'll pay that much. Then the next transaction, it was on this March 2nd. So just say, second day. Leave a line, please. Do not congest your work. Leave one, a line or so. Then you go and say second. We bought some of the items from PC Moenya. Copy the name PC Moenya in capital letters. PC Moenya. Underline. If 
before I go any further, that title also gives you half a mark in the final exam. Half a mark in the final exam. That half is important for you. It adds to the other half what that you already obtained on top there. Okay. So we now write down whatever we bought from PC Mwenya in summary form. We bought three reps for our loans. And 50 kwacha each. Okay. 50 kwacha each. So we need to say one rec was costing 50 kwacha. So multiply by three. That will give us 150. 150 kwacha. Then we bought four boxes of four boxes of nails. Of nails and the four boxes were costing 100 at 100 kwacha. Okay, four boxes were costing 100 kwacha. Now, can you see the language here? The word each is missing, round up the word each, meaning that all the four boxes were costing 100 kwacha. So you don't need to multiply in this case. Four boxes were all costing 100 kwacha. You don't need to multiply at all, no? So you get your 100 kwacha as the total. So be careful. If there is a weight each, you multiply. If the weight each is missing, it means all of them were costing that much. Is that okay? Good. So now we get our total. Our total now is... 250 kwacha, 250 kwacha, that's the total. Now remember, all the items, the two items were subjected to a 20% trade discount. 20% trade discount. 20% trade discount. So we need to continue uh, with our calculation. And I clean up this. I hope you have already done the copying of these things. But I clean up and then we continue. Okay. Okay. We clean up that. We clean up that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I continue. The 250 was subjected to a trade discount. So you need to continue. So down here we need to say less 20% trade discount. Less 20% trade discount. So I'll continue up there. I'll say less 20% trade discount. Less 20% trade discount. So we get 20% of this. So the 20% of this will be um, will be zero. We can work out the 20% times 250, cancel that, cancel that, cancel that, cancel that, 25 by 2 is 50. So the 20% of 250 is just a 50 kwacha. So 50 kwacha here. That's a 50 kwacha. So that's what we're going to subtract from our 250 here. So 250 minus 20 will give us 200 for the total score. 200 for the total score. 200 on the totals column. So that is how we work out that particular item. The next is saying received an invoice from Frank Hood. Received an invoice from Frank Hood. Now remember, you can only receive an invoice if you had bought some goods, if you purchased some goods. That's why the language now has changed to received an invoice. So if it was saying sent an invoice, it means you didn't buy. You were selling actually. That's when you can send an invoice. But in this case, it is saying received an invoice. You cannot receive an invoice after buying. So the next is on the 60th. On the 60th, we bought from Frank Wood. Frank Wood. Frank Wood. What did we buy? 10 pockets. Of 
10 pockets of sugar. Add, both them at 400 kwacha. Okay, 10 pockets of sugar at 400 kwacha. The weight each again is missing, meaning that we cannot we cannot uh, multiply by 10, no, because the weight each is missing. So we just get the 400 kwacha itself. So all the 10 pockets of sugar we are costing 400 kwacha. No need of multiplying, no. The next item that we bought, six boxes of match sticks, six boxes of match sticks. Six, okay, at, we bought them at, 20 kwacha each, 20 kwacha each, the weight each is there, so in this case we need to multiply by 6, because one box was costing 20 kwacha, so we need to multiply by 6, so 6 times 20 will give us, that is a 0, 12, so 120 for the six of them. So we get the total. Just me just remove this total here. We get that total. Get that total. Okay. We remove this, we know it is there. Okay. We get that total. We have 520. 520 in total. 520 in total. So now, from that now, we need to remove a trade discount of 2.5%. Trade discount of 2.5%. Trade discount of 2.5%. So we say less. 2.5% trade discount. So less two and a half percent trade discount. So I know two and a half percent trade discount or the percent of two and a half percent might be a challenge to some of you, but it's not a, a big challenge. Here is how we, we work it out. Get your two and a half percent like this. Okay. Then multiply the, that mixed fraction two times that. That gives you a four plus one is a five. Now, because it's 2% percent and always a percentage is over 100, so you multiply that 100 by 2, that by that 2, that gives you 200 over here. Then you multiply by your total 520. Total 520. Okay? Cancel here, cancel there. So reduce this 1, this is a 4. So what you have is 52 divided by 4. Okay, so that gives you 4 in there is 1, remainder 1, so 4 in 12 is 3, 4 in 12 is 3, okay, so that gives you 13 kwacha, so the trade discount was 13 kwacha, remember we are deducting or subtracting so that the total will come to our seven, okay, uh, we are subtracting, remember, our zero and our five. So the total is five zero seven. So that's the amount of money which we're going to pay. We'll pay five zero seven and instead of five hundred twenty. Why? Because there was a, a trade discount of thirteen kwacha. Is that okay on the way forward so far? So having done or reached the end of the transactions that we, 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 we in, uh, encountered during the month of March, now we need to get the total of this book. We need to get the total of this book. Do remember we have one total good, we, we don't have space now. We have that total which we have, we arrived at, at 46, 44. So in other words, we are going to add whatever item is on the last column or in the last column 
or in the total scholar, we get the total of that. So we're going to add that 200 plus 507 plus 46, 44, which is uh, on the other side of the, of the board. So we get the total. So I'm going to use my rough paper and get the total. So I have my 200, I have my 507. So use the calculator, remember, to do the totals. Use the calculator to do the totals. So we get the total. We have 11, carry 1, and 5, carry 0. We have 8 plus 9, that's the 13, carry 1. And the total is 5351. 5351. So that's our total. We'll bring it over here. So, we have now reached almost the end of the our work. So, I've taken the total of the last column, the 200, the 507, and the area on for the 644. So, I've added that on my rough paper. So, the total now comes to 5,351 kwacha. 5,351 kwacha. You underline here as the end. Okay, call that total as... On the 31st of March, as sundry creditors, you are dealing with creditors here, sundry creditors, sundry creditors. And that's the total I said should go to the general ledger in an account called the purchases account, in an account called the purchases account. Then, these other personal accounts, Frankfurt, the Zulus, those are the personal accounts. Those will go to the purchases ledger. Those will go to the purchases ledger. And they will all be credited for giving away goods. They didn't even receive any single way. It was on credit. It was on credit. So that's how it goes. Now, one other uh, point that uh, I must even find out from you people. Which document do you think was used in the preparation of this book? Which document do you think could have been used in the preparation of this book? For the cash transactions, yes, we all know, we are supposed to use receipts. What about credit transactions, credit purchases in particular? We must use the document called an invoice. Now, since we are buying the document must be called an original invoice. An original invoice. So when you are buying, it is an original invoice. Because you are the buyer, you must go away with an original document. You must go away with an original document. So I hope everybody has uh, followed the lesson and knows how to calculate the trade discounts, as I've done, so that in the next uh, meeting, when we have another uh, session, uh, we'll be looking at the sales journal, the sales journal, which also applies trade discounts uh, when calculating the final totals. So we need to know how to work out the discounts properly so that when we come to the sales journal, it will be plain selling. You will not have problems. All you need to do is to get a calculator and the writing paper. So from me, Mr. Msonda, I'm now signing up. So next week we'll have another session on the sales journal. So good luck. I, I, I wish you all the best. So let's, uh, let's meet as we have met today. So next time is sales journal. Remember, this topic is very important. It's supposed to be in section C of your business studies paper. And this is where a lot of marks are. It carries 10 good marks. Thank you very much.